beliefs form worldview for us. It's how we perceive the world. Not all beliefs are bad in themselves, but limiting beliefs are exactly how they sound. Those are the beliefs that limits your growth. Beliefs that are in form of thoughts or opinions that we hold about the world around us and especially about ourselves and believe it to be true. The truth is, we all have unlimited potential, but our results does not reflect so. It's because consciously or unconsciously we sabotage ourselves and we don't take the optimal action. It's because somewhere within you there is a little voice that always keeps on saying you cannot and that stops you from taking the right action. That little voice in your head is your limiting belief. Hello everyone, this is Zilkin Kabwala. In today's video, I am going to talk about what is limiting belief? How are they formed? What causes limiting belief? How can you identify your limiting belief? And how can you overcome your limiting belief? So in short, in this video, you will be getting all your answer to any question you might have about limiting belief. But before we dive into the video, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down there as well as hit the bell notification to get notified whenever I post a new video. And if you've already subscribed to my channel, let me tell you, I genuinely appreciate your presence. So you might ask, why is belief so important? Beliefs are what you think you can and you cannot. It's where we all start. If you don't have the right belief, you won't see your full potential and therefore you won't act. And so you cannot get your desired results. Most of our beliefs were formed when we were kids. Our parents, relatives, our school, teachers and friends played a major role in shaping our beliefs. Our beliefs were formed when we experienced something or by believing and accepting what others told us to be true. As Lewis Hay, the famous self-help author said, we learn our belief system as very little children and then we move through life creating experiences to match our beliefs. Look back in your own life and notice how often you have gone through the same experience. So you see, limiting belief is like sitting in a closed room forever and thinking the room itself is the world. No matter whatever your limiting beliefs are, they restrict the scope of how you see the world. In fact, most believed served us well until a certain point in life. Your parents might have taught you to save money, but now you might have developed a belief that you would never earn enough money and therefore you must save. So ultimately, what served you then might not serve you now. You have to let go of those beliefs that are stopping you from reaching your fullest potential. You might have limiting beliefs like I'm not worthy, I'm not good enough, the good ones are already taken, everyone in my family is overweight and so am I, I cannot do what my family doesn't want me to do. And especially pay attention when you use words like what if, I always or I never. So now that you know what your limiting beliefs are, now let's dive into how you can overcome your limiting beliefs. The very first step is to write down your limiting belief. No matter whatever your limiting beliefs are, write them down once you know that that's something that's stopping you and your growth. And see what other areas of your life has been affected by this limiting belief. Determine the source of your limiting belief. 
See when you started believing that that limiting belief is true. Look for yourself at what specific age you'd started developing that limiting belief. Your source could be one single person or multiple people. You start thinking your belief is true when those sentences are repeated often by several people and then you start slowly thinking that that sentences are true. Ask yourself, what if you're wrong? What if that belief is not true? According to positive psychologist, you have little control over your mental state until you start asking questions and challenging your beliefs, your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings and perception. So get into the detective role and start asking yourself questions and look for evidence. What if your belief is actually not true? And lastly, alter your limiting belief with a new positive belief. Create a new belief that you can always look forward to whenever you're reminded of your old limiting belief. Anytime you have your old limiting belief in your mind, remind yourself of all the good reason why that belief is not true. Remember, you'll still get those sentences thrown at your face. Or even you yourself might have thoughts about your own limiting beliefs. Those won't fade away instantly. But now you have the power to recognize what's true and what's not. Remind yourself that your limiting beliefs do not serve you well. Well, that's it for today's video, my friend. I really hope this video helps you get rid of your limiting beliefs. If you like this video, make sure to give a thumbs up, keep sharing, keep commenting and I will see you in my next video. Till then, bye!